and presented you with the script as it will unfold here in Donegal this weekend. You would have politely said, that's a great story, and went away and had a good deal somewhere. No one could have anticipated what was going to happen from stage one to stage 20 on this year's June Donegal International Rally. The defending champions lasted one stage before their engine gave up. The people who won it never led it until they came off the last stage at Fannin Head today. In between those two things, it was quite incredible all that happened. It's an old cliche to say, you couldn't write the script. But one thing's for sure, despite everything that happened, the winning crew kept coming back, and kept coming back, and kept coming back, even back out of a field. Today, they started 34.1 seconds behind the leaders. There was two other crews ahead of them who were within seconds of the leaders. And even the most biased of us, and there's plenty of us here, looked at it and said, it's not possible. It's impossible that from 34.1 seconds down, you could finish and win the Jewel Bloody Gold International Rally in 2016. But after one stage, 34 seconds have become almost half that. And after three stages, it have become 7.9 seconds. And then we said the impossible is almost possible. Because surely on high grain, no ground will be gained as it had been previously. But then, to add to the drama of this magnificent event in 2016, there was no high grain. Somebody hit a telegraph pole and took the wires down and the stage was cancelled. And again the most biased of us said, it's not to be. Because surely on Atlantic Drive, the leaders will gain more ground, which they did. And going into Fannin Head, which has claimed many victims in the past, some of the best that have ever competed in the Donegal International Rally, there was 9.3 seconds to be made up. It's not possible. The tires are the same this time. They'll never make up nine and a half or ten seconds. They'll go off the road trying because the driver said, whatever it takes, we're going to give it a go. Will they end up in another field? And then the news came through. And we heard the screams of his wife, Bernie, and one or two other people. And they As clearly as the sun will shine tomorrow, Bernie. <laughs> Last year, the driver and the navigator told me outside the Mount Erigo that they fulfilled a 10 year dream by winning the national category of the Donegal International Rally. Five or six weeks ago, they sat in the Subaru for the very first time and won the Carroll Rally. But even then, we couldn't believe they could walk the Law. But they came to the Law, and from the first day it showed that they could match what we describe as the best of the best. That they were going to fight shoulder to shoulder with the best of the best. And for 20 stages, if they were allowed to stay on, they were going to give it their best shot. And as I said, even when they went into a field and lost time, that they came. Rory Kennedy said to me today, and he's been doing this rally and watching this rally for a long time, he can't remember 
a better Gully Roll International Rally than the one we've had in 2016. And Andrew Nesbitt, a six-time runner here, said exactly the same to me today on GullyGallSportHub.com. He said, I'm watching it in awe of what's going on and the people who are competing. Our champions for 2016 for the duo for the goal of the National Rally. Uh, 
I have you jump with me a second before you left Park Firmin this morning because Manus did say on the air that you were a bit annoyed with him after he's went into the field because his head wasn't right for the next few stages. But uh, you said what's, what happens in the cockpit stays in the cockpit. I mean, this is an incredible moment for you two guys because you two guys love your sport. And not only this sport, but loads of sports. But I mean, for two only God lads, there's only been two other all only God groups to won this event. In all the years we've had, this is a moment that you'll remember for the rest of your life. Oh, I don't know. Sorry, I don't think it's going to sink in for a few days yet, but um, you know, I think this man here, we were talking about winning the national last year for <coughs> after having travelled that drive for so long. And um, for him to get into that world car, and obviously one car to come up here and be competitive on the Friday and the Saturday until the accident. And then to come out yesterday afternoon and set forward last time and so got us back in the game. And then go out this morning for him, um, never having driven the car in the wet, and to set past the time to play and then to do what they did in the time. You know, it's unbelievable. What a talent. Unbelievable. What a talent for sure. What a talent for sure. Um, and, and at what stage? You know, you were right there, as you say, and I said earlier on, you were right there with the, with the top guys until you had the, had the off. At what stage then, Donald, did you think you had a chance? Well, I suppose that is a funny sport, isn't it? The, the demise of Donald with any trouble and Declan. So I was here tonight with uh, the gearbox, and he's not none of the two lads bald. No greater error, it was just mechanical, and uh, it was supposed to make wins, and then when we set four fastest times in the last four stages, then it goes back to 34 seconds. Of course, you had to, had to believe. Or there's no point in doing it if you didn't believe that. You know. Man, it's good on, good on the fan of the head. You had to make up, let's say, 10 seconds. Uh, you know, if I started counting 10 now at the right pace, uh, it's, it's a fair, you know, take me a while to do it, like, you know, and if you got 10 seconds, at the start of that stage, I know you were going to give it everything, you've taken 18 seconds of Keith previously, what well, things were different, and it's always going to be separate the second time round, did you think, did you really believe you could do it? Um, it was, a, it was a, whenever we lost the end of the day, it was about the like, you know, the, the plan of it, you know, what they were going to take a bit me with. But the ball was something that we, we were going to tell Lanty Drive. We're not just with Lanty Drive, we're off with Lanty Drive in the second corner, the first day, and they lived off in the last corner. Yeah. I was in slight tires and just like we're playing both times. And um, I said to Don, I said, we can't, we can't ban it on the year, like, we have to go to Fanny and see if we, can, if we can do it. So we come off and fair play to keep him on there until a couple of seconds a year or whatever it was. And the Lanty Drive so left us. There were 9.5, 9.3. We knew where the mountain to climb. Like. <clears throat> we went on the fan. I put that helmet on, he put the helmet on, and he said, We're going for gold. He's going to put it in something. I'm going to prove to you, and you're sitting in a rally chair, and Ellie just closes in like you're tall and blazing. And all you can see here is the man beside you. And all you can see is the road in front of you. And the car rolling at you. That is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Some people said 0.4, 0.5, it doesn't really matter. Half a second or 0.4 of a second. At what stage did you actually realise we've done it here? I, the uh, Keith's navigator, my D came up with a good this time, and I went to my side, and we knew there was 9.3, and then he finished them at 20, and I think we finished them at 40 or something, but we're trying to work it out, and we knew there was less than a second in it, so um, we didn't get confirmation in it, and then I did it, and me and the son were jumping down the road. <laughs> Yeah. Manus, uh, you can do two things now. You can go on and start running international, or uh, the three of you can retire and say, There you are now, boys. We won the national. Yeah, yes, right. We won the national. We won the international. There's nothing left for us to do. I don't think for one second that'll be the case. Oh, no, definitely not, Jerry. <laughs> Yes, sir, no, no, but 
Donegal International Rally has ever been. Well done. 